Good morning, everyone, and welcome to another That Film I Just Watched, another episode of Good Morning Soul. I hope you're all having another beautiful day. Um, today, I would like to talk about a little film that came out in 2012. It's about... Oh, God. If, if you ever seen Borat, or if you ever saw Bruno, which I haven't, but basically, the guy, uh, the Sacha Baron Cohen, I think is how you pronounce his name, uh, this guy, this guy, he really likes to make these satire characters who are giving, I guess, a social commentary on things. I don't know. I haven't seen those other films, but in this film, I don't really know if he succeeds in that. Maybe that's why there's pretty bad perception of this movie. I know I, on my thing, I gave it a six out of 10. Or I gave it a 3 out of 5, which equals a 6 out of 10. The way I did it. But I know on Letterboxd it's got like a 2.6. Since I'm give, I'm, I'm, now, I'm now giving it uh, a 5. So that's pretty much where that ends up. But in this film, the Sacha, whatever, how you pronounce his name. He's playing an evil dictator. An evil dictator who runs a Middle Eastern country uh, that's made up. And he's basically a huge stereotype of what these films are. Or what these what these uh, people are. But these films, uh, this and another film that also did this, which was called You Don't Mess With The Zohan. By fucking Adam Sandler. It's a terrible Adam Sandler film. I don't want to ever think about that movie ever again. Both of these films, which... Uh, both of these films, which I get them mixed up. Like, which one is the one with the fucking barber? Both of these films are pretty... Offen it's obviously offensive. The whole fucking point of this film is it's offensive. The whole... What this guy does is meant to be offensive. And that's like what he's going for the the comedy his whole shtick is to which i'm okay with that the whole point of art to me is supposed to is supposed to provoke empathy or provoke any kind of feelings so in this film uh being offended i don't think i got offended one time uh i don't think they ever like crossed the line to the point it was like oh Oh, like, they make fun of everyone. They make fun of white people, black people, Jewish people. They make fun of everyone. Uh, obviously, they make fun of Muslims and this whole culture. That's obviously a big part of the film is what they're doing here. The rest of the film, though, it's, it's pretty generic. Uh, I do like the idea of him like, oh, I'll just murder random people like stuff that this guy obviously couldn't do or you you would hear about it if he did it like his people would be like why is he murdering us um obviously that would happen but for the sake of this film you know they laugh it up i don't remember a whole lot about the film in all honesty like as i'm trying to re replicate the plot for a synopsis i'm just like what the fuck even happened in this film this is a very forgettable film about him trying to r reclaim his uh, rich uh, from rags to riches, but he was already rich at the beginning of the film, and the, and they try to give him this like romance thing with this character named Zoe, played by the girl from the scary movies. I think is that her. Hold on, am I? Is that you? Don't is that the Adam Sandler film? I I now now I gotta know. Well, the, in that movie, it was a very forced... Okay, that's her. Okay, I'm just getting these films mixed up. But they they try to humanize him a lot by giving him this weird romance. It's very unnecessary for a character who's obviously evil and doesn't need this. The whole film is just underwhelming for what it could have been, and not nearly as funny as it could have been and if they're trying to be offensive they you know there there's definitely some other lines they could have crossed and 
I think that's everything I have to say about this film. I we're we're reaching those couple of films where I just don't give a fuck. Like these five out of ten films, it's just so hard for me to care. I I, I just need to rewatch them, and I don't know I have more to say. But rewatching the clips and trailer, I was just dead. And yep, that's pretty much how I feel about this one. That's what I think of the dictator. I'm going to put it as a 5 out of 10 for the history books. And until next time, guys, thank you for watching. And with that, I leave you.